welcome back to the Hicks Garage YouTube channel. You might be wondering why I have a jug of canola oil and why we have minivan. Well, you avid viewers might understand that we're gonna put this canola oil in the minivan. Let's see what happens. Now we're going to be removing this here hood so we can thoroughly see our engine when it throws a rod into the stratosphere. This thing is actually telling us that we do need to change oil. And, and our door is open. Okay, so we got a pit right here that we're gonna change the oil on. It doesn't really show that up well up on camera. Show them how you don't get oil in your hand, Wesley. So we got the plug back on. We're about to pour it in right now. <laughs> so if you don't have any 5W30 at your house, canola oil is a great alternative. It has the same oh, yeah. what, what kind of scenario would we have to be in where, where this information is useful? Joe Biden became president. It's going to smell weird. It's going to smell delicious. No. All right. We had to fill up a quart container full of canola oil because Walmart didn't sell quart containers for some reason. Which kind of pisses me off because they should expect us to do this. Some of the residual oil seems to have made it in there and it's turned the canola oil black. And it seems that, oh, what's that, what's it, what's it say? Do not overfill. See owner's manual for oil type. Looks good to me. We got all of our canola oil in. It's time to do our 10 minute test. If it survives this 10 minutes, we are going to- Road trip We're, we're calling Wisconsin. it good. It's, it's, it's good. Um, so, and with that logic, if it can last 10 minutes, it can do a cross country road trip. because we have transmission issues and if you go forwards more than 10 miles an hour you can't go forwards anymore so we're doing the whole test in reverse Bog 
down a little bit. It could be the transmission issues or the canola oil silent taking the toll on the motor. Remember, this motor only has 125,000, so it should be pretty darn good. Try driving her. Oh, that clunky. Hope she's smoking. See the flames here. We're cooking. Hey! Are we still on fire? We're still on fire. Way down under there, I can see it. You can see the orange fire. Oh! <laughs> Can't you see it? Yeah, it's still down there. You gotta come on this side. And... Yep, right there, right there. Yeah, hey, do that. Nope, you missed it. It's way down under. You see it? It's still on fire. Or is it the grass that's on fire? No? Oh, I see it, Leslie. Yeah, it's right there. Let me see. It's on that wheel well. Are you getting it? You burned yeah. yourself. Huh. So in the attempt to get water, we're going to have to attempt to replace the uh, window on that. So guys, this is either going to smell really good or really bad. No, no build up. No steam. My sniffer don't work. What does it smell like? It smells hot. It smell, have you ever smelled raw heat before? It smells like that. <sighs> we need to work out more. She doesn't appear to be on fire anymore. All right, so we're gonna take the canola oil out now so we can see what it looks like. And we, we got our original jug so we can use this stuff when we have a fr fish fry or something. That'll put some hair on your lungs. Yummy, yummy, <laughs> yummy. Right, so these are the before and the after. It got a little bit full for the jug, so we we put the other stuff in there. In conclusion, canola oil will start your motor on fire, but it seems to run pretty good as oil for 10 minutes of running around. It will get you from A to B, but in canola oil's defense it could have started on fire just 
you know, because I was floored for 10 minutes straight, even if it had regular oil in it. Yeah, we should have done a control test, but we can't afford that.